Many of you guys asked me how to use the damage calculator and honestly speaking at first I was quite surprised that not all of you know of it. But the first time when we only got the damage calculator I also was not that smart guy. So let me show you how to use it. I decided to pick up this one because it's free and all of you can use it. The link on it I'll leave in the description and comments to this video. The first what we can see is result, we can choose calculation based on multiplier or damage. I personally prefer damage but honestly speaking it doesn't really matter. Because when you'll be choosing for example teamwork passive you just will need to see if the number is higher or lower. Besides you can see the final stats, however I cannot guarantee you that all of them aren't 100% accurate. From what I checked many stats don't match with my detailed stats. But as to me it's still a good idea to use it because usually it shows a good build. After results we can see modes where we need to choose or Lunar Mine Expedition Expedition Phase or Lunar Mine Expedition Battle Phase or Enders Echo. In case with the Battle Phase you need to choose how many medals your opponent has. It will tell the calculator what the buffs you have. Based on it it will help you to choose gears, tech parts and so on. The same in case with the Enders Echo, you need to choose what buffs, what debuffs you have in the current mini season. Note that in the calculator some modifiers are missing, there's only I would say main. For example you will not find the second one Demon Sword. If you have such modifiers then choose none because they are not important. The next what you need to do guys is to write your attack, your base attack, your final attack and amount of designs. Your base attack and final attack you can find in detailed stats. Attack you need to write twice before making changes and after. Because when you'll be making some changes the calculator will adjust the numbers. And the thing is that it doesn't take all the factors into account. As a result that adjusted number will be slightly different. The next words you need to choose guys are gears or better to say amount of cores that you have. Based on this amount it will show you to what star it's better to astral forge your gears. You also can put some limits to what star you can astral forge your gears. Very practical because sometimes you can have enough cores but not enough gears. By the way I see that many of you don't understand why sometimes for example if you use void necklace it shows you to upgrade chaos fusion. It's not a bug it shows you that you need to upgrade chaos fusion in a sense necklace. To get a new KS Fusion power skill. The next what you need to choose are tech parts or twin bar parts that you use. Also their quality, eternal or legend. In case with twin bar parts you also can choose a mode, for example drone or force field. But if you want the calculator to find out what tech parts are better to choose then it's not really needed. Just let it know what tech parts you have, how many. How many chips you have and how many weapon skills you can choose. After calculating it will show you a few options. It shows what modes are better to use to what resonance level it's better to upgrade them. And what tech parts were to use as support. Really good that there's a few options because the final result is not 100% accurate. Plus in case with the Enders Echo you might be lucky or not lucky with the skills. By the way the calculator also shows you what skills are better to choose. The next what we have are survivors and survivor synergy. First of all you need to choose what you use what you have currently. And then basically you need to play with survivor synergy of course if you have it. With your survivors, teamwork passives and so on. Unfortunately the calculator as in case with tech parts and gears doesn't show you the best way to use cores and shards. But for this we have guides, so I would not say it's a big problem. The next what we have guys are collectibles. Basically you just need to choose what custom collections and what collectibles you have. In the calculator you also find a recommendation in what order it's better to upgrade your collectibles. If you're very close to get a new star for example like 10 pieces. I recommend you to choose them to start up your collectibles faster. About talents there's not much to say, just choose talents that you have. The same is about lunar turf, you just need to choose how many percent of these two tiles you have. The next what you need to choose is a pet that you use. 
In case with normal pets there's nothing hard, more harder is in case with Xeno. When you write resonance chance and resonance damage you can check deployed pet. In Xeno pet resonance it will tell you the total amount. About the sand gate if I'm not wrong it also shows you the total. But better check in detailed stats. Increasing damage like shield damage, damage to poison targets you need to add from all SS skills of your deployed and SS pets. Currently the best pet is Penguin. If you want to compare Xeno pets then take into account that when you decide to switch, you will have different SS skills as a result numbers also will be different. What I want to say guys if you don't have a lot of cookies then switching to another pet might be not the best idea. The last what we have are settings, but I would say settings are only for people that use eternal suit. Here you need to choose when you'll revive for the second and for the third time. After choosing tool don't forget to check your attack, your base attack and final attack with detailed stats in game. And basically that's all about the calculator. If you still have some questions guys then be free to ask me in comments. Subscribe to my channel and would be great if you would like this video because it helps me to make better content for you.